You have to kill me if you want it. Finally alive. You have no magic. The reason you just have to you. run. <laughs> and then, um... I think, like, one of the sergeants walked by and was like, What are these three in trouble for? And then the sergeant fair he was just like, because the magic fucking express keeps interrupting my class, so I'm I'm showing them what happens, and he just goes, he just looks at me, he's like, get on your bag. So we get on our bags, and he just says, hold your arms and hands out, and what he means is, hold your arm and hands up and at an angle. So we're laying on our backs. Legs and arms up. And he says, Y'all are just gonna sit here like some dead cockroaches. <laughs> and he says, He says, Y'all are just gonna sit here until I finished last. <laughs> and I, I've witnessed this, um, this lecture. It's not a short lecture, it's pretty fucking long. <laughs> he was about midway through it. Oh, that's good. You can get the item from me. And, um... Uh, so the sergeant is just like... He goes about the lecture. And he's just... He's just teaching and we're just holding... Holding your arms and, in the air like you look so okay. Yeah. <laughs> and my battle buddies start to... He starts to let his legs lower. My legs are starting to lower a little bit. Brandon, keep those legs in the air. I'll be right back. Okay. Yes, Jimmy. Yeet. How do your legs feel right now? They're all right. They're not sore. Because yeah, I had, I I work out my legs a lot, so that wasn't really that bad for me. Like, that's, that's one thing, like, four legs and arm strength is very important. Being able to do a lot of push-ups, being able to hold your legs in the air, and being able to do a lot of sit-ups. Those are the most important exercises. And let me tell you, if you can't do push-ups, and your sergeant's feeling extra military as fuck. Yeah, he'll embarrass you. I'll be right back. Okay. About the military. What is that? Like word skews. I'm back, but I'm down right. a keyboard. Fair. Huh? I'm back, but I don't have a keyboard anymore. Why don't you have why? Why? <laughs> I had to give it to my brother so he could finish his assignments. You had a what? My brother has a broken computer that doesn't have a keyboard. Oh, uh, and your brother like needs it for like work or something? Yep. Understandable. So, you guys can still control my computer, right? I'm not sure. I'm going to hope. <laughs> so, right, right now, Daylon's gone. Oh, okay. Dang, that sucks. Yeah. Are you I, still recording? Um, yes. I can't check because oh, okay. I don't have a keyboard. <laughs> well, did you turn the recording off before you left? Nope. Okay, so we're still recording. Brandon, why are your drill sergeants like... I don't know, but why are they... Why they be like this? Why they make well, you be I mean, dead cockroaches? I mean, I only... 
I only tell the, the, the stories of my sergeants being me because those are. But I mean, this is this is just drill. Okay. It's not basic. So they're really relaxed compared to what's gonna happen at drill. Oh gosh. Or basic. basic. <laughs> yeah. The uh, the drill sergeants at basic would be a lot meaner and a lot scarier. Bob, move. Okay. I need to finish telling the story so I can go to bed. <laughs> I I actually am kind of keen on finishing this chapter, this session, because <sighs> we'll think about. It. I have the item to finish the chapter right now. Then fucking finish it. I can't be staying up late. You been now? Double dog game. Oh, and just so you know, I'm down a keyboard. <gasps> I finally got the goddess of generosity. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, I think oh, that okay. guarantees. I think that guarantees this is mine. How fucking neat. <laughs> I'm just going to America, man. Fuck this shit. It's like, I move towards Brandon and give him a chance. Then the goddess of generosity showed up. It's like, you, you win. Man, where the fuck is the town? Well, I need to go up. What's up? Left. Left. Oh, there it is. Oh, just one behind. Can you still yeah. deliver the deck? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, I'll use the skeleton key here. Dope. And of course, there's nothing of extreme interest. <laughs> so, anyways, where was I? Hell. Yes. Uh, I was. No, where was I in the story? You had gotten back and you were on your back doing the cockroach thing. Shoot! Oh, right. It began. Am I dead? No, you, you probably... went. You need first strike. Kill it. Strike Kill it. it. Strike it down. Look at its speed. Use... Strike it down. You scorcher and Ooh. pray. Oh, nope. That did not sound like a monkey noise. It did sound like a oops, I'm dead noise. Crap. Okay, Brandon. Sorry for interrupting. That's fine. I got you. I got you. Drop down, dude. Push up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, we're on our backs. And we're about to, like, it's obvious we're becoming tired. Yeah. And the Sarge isn't even almost done. He's still got some ways to go. And he looks over us and he says, you know what? Just. I'm trying to think of how to describe it, because we weren't done exercising. <laughs> like, he's, he was like, I forget how he worded it, but he was just like, move your arms and legs in and out. So it's like, Pump we're doing like a clapping. No. Go spread eagle. Yeah, almost. We're doing like this clap motion with our hands and feet. Jesus and Christ. so... That goes on for a while. <laughs> you never use any field magics anymore. The spell sword doesn't actually use spells or swords. Like for whatever reason, like I suck at these. Your choices are magic space or chance for chimpy. What are you even doing in there? Look for a salamander. 
I'm a salamander! Yay! Yay! We all just beat her. We're too good. <laughs> We're like, no. go fuck away! No. No. First thing. So, Brandon, you're doing the clapping motion? And after that goes on for, like, a while, the Sarge just goes, You just get up, just get up. <laughs> And he looks, he looks directly at me, and goes, Howard, I better not fucking see you until dinner time. And he sends us on our way. So for like the rest of the day, every time I see him, I just like, move out of his vision. <laughs> like, the area that he could see me. Like, I start hiding behind people. Didn't <sighs> even hit myself back. behind objects. <laughs> like, I didn't want him to see me. Did that mint character even ever go back? That mint character, we delivered him back to the classroom. Did he have to do the exercises with you? Yeah, he had to do the exercise with us. <laughs> I could not so, have done that. Not so, gonna so. lie. Moral of the story is, uh, don't inform your drill sergeant. Or, uh, not your drill sergeant, your, uh, recruiter. He might be cool with you, but underneath every sergeant so is a demon. Is a they won't let you forget it. Look at your little pyramid of. Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> you need to find a red tree, Bob. Hey, what now? That's a red tree. Like in the case? That's probably deeper yeah. in. Oh, that's like far in. Okay. Yeah, Zyno level 2 didn't have it. When you squared off against that. level 2. I swear level 2 had it. No, I remember he, he popped out and it was like. There was like a main room, which didn't really have much. And then there was just like this little subsection room he was in. Which just had like the way back and the way. It goes down far. So, Tamlin, um, do you have control of the computer? Like mm -hmm. mouse or keyboard controls? I don't know. Could you check? Okay, there you go. Because I had to, I had been going to I had to get my keyboard away. Oh. So, I don't have a keyboard right now. Uh huh. I landed every single one of my towns that had an item. Good. Jesus Christ. You can do it, Brandon. Please don't. Please don't. You're not gonna hit either of us, thank God. Can I do it? I you can hold the crystal under your town. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the multi crystal just to move a spot. So is that what happened, Brandon? You just got like blue smoke by your career? Yeah, I got smoke. There's a lot of stuff that happened. Jeez. This is an eventful uh, drill. Each time you go to drill, it's like something crazy happens. Yeah. Have you told what's Bob? Happen when I come back from basic. Have you told Bob the story of that that dude that you just covered for that night and got super tired? Covered for it. Oh yeah, there's this one guy. Okay, so when you're at drill, okay, you use this thing called Firewatch. Firewatch. And basically, what that is is you make sure the place doesn't burn down. <laughs> obviously. Okay. And. You also make sure none of the cadets, crews, or soldiers. How is your fucking stick not on fire? Either way, you make sure none of the cadets or recruits leave, and you have a choice. He actually killed you. Cool. Not cool.
continue. And you have like a chore you need to do. And, you know, the chore varies from person to person, you know, from group to group. And you there's always two people. You and a battle buddy have to do it. Safety in numbers. So, I was on Firewatch. And, uh, the, me and my battle buddy, you know, we were just, we were just chilling, you know, we, we had already gotten our thing done. <laughs> I was just like, we had to, like, sue the room or some shit. Yeah, it was something really easy. Something that doesn't take an hour to do. Right. Ah, <sighs> oh, damn, you're in debt. You better hope for Roche and losing. Or something like that. I don't have any <clears throat> bad field magics anymore. And so, you know, we finish up our hour. We wake up the next two guys, which happen to be, uh, I happen to know these two guys. You know, they're pretty cool people. So my battle buddy goes to bed. I decide to stay up and just talk with him for a little bit. And, uh, So, you know, I'm talking with him. This dude's battle buddy, he runs off. He just completes the entire tutorial. Oh. Oh. Okay, cool. Thank you. Whatever. Fuck you too, Grandpa. <laughs> Don't invest in their town. Punish them. No. Well, now you're definitely not getting on the will, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Grandpa! <laughs> Please love me! <laughs> so, you know, I, I know these two guys. You know, they're pretty cool. The... So I'm talking to this one guy who I'll, uh, call, um... Brandon Jr. Uh, Brandon Jr. No. no, I'll just, I'll just call him... Yeah, I'll just use the same two names. Call him Mint. Okay. So me and Mint are talking, and, and I'm really cool with Mint. Like me and Mint, like we've we've gone through like a couple drills together. We know each other. You know, we tell stories. You know, we crack up. We have really good times together. Dope. So me and Mint, we're talking. Mint's battle buddy runs off, and they had a real simple task too. They just had to like pop for some shit. Some really easy. And. So Hood comes back, says he completed it, and just he, he just went to bed. He just went back to bed. <laughs> so I'm up. My bow buddy decides he wants to wander back over. He says he can't sleep. And the guy I'm with, he says, Hey, you know, can you cover for me? Just this shift? And I was like I was like, Yeah, you know, that's fine with me. I asked my bow today, he said it was okay. And so, you know, my bow. So, Min, he points out the two guys we have to. Work. And keep in mind, this is like two o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I stayed up from. I got up at one. Did my shift until two. And I covered this guy's shift. So, I go all the way to three o'clock. Wasn't the hardest, but the next day I was pretty tired. Mm hmm. But does not compare to me what happened this last drill. Okay. And I, I just... Are you guys okay if I just save? Because after this... Yeah, game, yeah. Okay. So... Don't! <laughs> now nah, I'm doing it. So, anyways... Roll. No. Anyways... Make that new save worth it. No. This, this story is what makes it worth it. So, Friday night, before this drill. What if I just edited out the story? We gotta tell it first. Alright. Fine! Oh, whoa. I'll use the multi crystal. Whoa.
Fresh. Thanks. You're not. Please. To Toto's Africa. So. Friday night before drill, I'm home. I go to sleep at like, like, like I couldn't sleep. I got maybe an hour. So I go to drill. It's early as hell. I didn't sleep. Hey, put that. I didn't even have breakfast. And you know, I get to this drill, and I go, through, I go through the day, pushing, running, just doing all this exercise and bull shit. Honky. Yeah, all this bull honky. And, uh, you know, finally nighttime comes. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, okay, cool. I'm going to fucking go to something. Now, keep in mind, the last drills I went to, the drill hall, which is where we sleep, mm -hmm. hot as fuck. Oh. One time it was so hot, they had to move us from the drill hall to another place. To go to sleep because it was so hot. They were afraid. It was so hot. They were afraid we were gonna have some heat stroke in our sleep. <laughs> so that this should time, never be a concern. Why is it so hot? It. I don't know. It was just fucking hot. <laughs> so, but this time, it was cold. Oh. It was cold as shit. That was fucking freezing. All right, guys, we so, fixed the heat problem, but. We're yeah, now it's soldiers in the plane. Now we're gonna catch like hypothermia. <laughs> now I'm used to it being hot, so I don't take blankets with me. That's a zombie a dragon. I don't take a blanket with me. It is fucking cold as hell. <laughs> so, and the only thing I have with me that could provide any warmth whatsoever is a shirt that I sweated. I soaked it in sweat. So it's damp. I take that out. I throw that over my legs. I have another shirt, which I hadn't worn yet. I throw that over my torso. Or particularly over my arms. It's so freaking cold. Does not do a damn thing. I'm still freezing my ass off. I am shivering. It is so cold. The next thing I have in my backpack or my gym bag, which I like to use as a pillow, is a damp ass towel. Uh, I take that out and throw it over me. It, it somehow makes it worse. Yeah, it's cold. So, I'm not sleeping. I stay up the entire night. Shivering. Shivering. Oh, that's Four o'clock rolls around, and I have to get up for force formation and do a PT test. No sleep. Yeah, no sleep. No sleep, no breakfast. Sundays, the PT test always. They don't feed you before the PT test. But, hey, but I, I had to get up and do this PT test. It's not immediately, you know, they give you a second to sit there. This is not doing a damn thing for me. Because I'm already tired and I still can't sleep. Now I have to stand. So I go through this PT test, which is a two mile run, 50 sit ups, 50 push ups. I was close to the mark on the push ups. I was like five away from it. I'm almost max on the sit ups. Play the game while you're telling the story, just because you're telling the story. I mean, I, I'm almost done with it. I'm like two, two words from being done. The two mile run, I just, I didn't make the time, but I did not walk. I ran straight through it. Whoa. So, yeah, that was Sunday. And keep in mind, Sunday... That's when I was getting roasted, or not roasted, smoked the most. <laughs> so, I was sleep deprived. That's why when I got home Monday, like, this is what happened when I got home Monday. 
Dad came to pick me up. I got in the car. He just go. He, he says, "How was drill?" I just go, "It's fine." Nothing else. He says, "What'd you do?" Stuff. I worked out. He says, "How'd you do in the PT?" Fine. Like I'm just giving like these really blunt responses. We get home. I push the door open. Ma's just standing there. She goes, "How was drill?" It was I. I open my bedroom door, shut it behind me, fall on my bed, and pass the fuck out. Oh my god. <laughs> it was like, I sat there for two seconds and fell right asleep. Jesus Christ, Brandon. She just has a Time to save again. Yeah, time to save again. Time to save so that time. was. It was. It was very fun, but it was fucking hard. Just We're gonna have anything. to do a, uh, a, what would the Choco cast be called now, Brandon? Um, the podcast. Let's talk about this while not recording. Yeah, I was about to say, why are you asking me? <laughs> what is in the episode, Bob? All right. Bye. Let's try it in the episode. Ooh. I have to stop recording. Ooh.